So what, um, day before the game, what's yeah. your preparation for Edmonton? Pretty much the same as, as for any uh, any other opponent in, in, in our league. You know, we don't want to make it uh, bigger as it is by himself anyway. So uh, we will take uh, we will take a couple couple clips uh, from 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 their game, and that's going to be it. For, for fans, what can you describe your style? What what are North American fans going to see? Yes, yeah, I know what you mean. We're still looking for the for 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 our identity. We have a we we were replaced we have replaced 12 players in the summer, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a lot of players in key positions coming from uh, first uh, first time in uh, uh, to Germany from different leagues, Russia and Sweden and wherever they come from. Mm -hmm. So they still they don't know the players, they don't know the opponents, they they, they don't know the buildings. So we still uh, we still are kind of in a work, work in progress, and we are not not. Uh, not done yet with our with our you know team building. Are you missing players with injury? Couple, yes. Too bad. Mm -hmm. Frederick the first came mm -hmm. just over from from America. Mm -hmm. First practice, mm -hmm. injured, out mm -hmm. for for a couple of weeks. Uh, we miss Kai Hospit, uh, mm -hmm. experienced phenomenon basically. So we have only three right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It, sorry, did I ask about yeah. this Fabio? Yeah. Great hockey player, uh, great hockey hockey mind. Uh, needs a little bit of a, of a, you know, uh, physical stability, but uh, he, he he plays hard. He can make plays and and um, yeah, really really hockey talent. So now we he's like what 22 I guess yeah. uh, something like that, and um, we brought him back to Cologne, and and I told him like from the first day I said okay listen, you know that. You know, just to be, uh, just to be here back. It's not not the case. We we want to build the team for the future around you, with you, and he's doing uh, he's doing a, a good job of it so far. Does he have North American potential? Well, it would be it would, like like if you see, if, yeah, it would be interesting to see. But let let me, yeah, if he if he can stabilize his you know his his top game for what let's say for two or three years. And becomes a little bit stronger physically. Who knows? You never know. He's a, he's a, he's a good hockey player. Peter Leon, yes. Leon says uh, it's not the dry subtle way to kind of communicate how proud or. He, he said he's not, he, you're likely not to get a straight answer from my dad about how <laughs> proud he is. Uh, so I figured I'd try anyways. What, what, what are your thoughts about coaching in this game with your son on the other side? It's going to be weird, probably. So, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I, I'm telling you right now, I'm glad when it's over. <laughs> Go to Sweden, and I can take off business here. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it twice. So once it's going to be great for really everybody involved, especially for us here in Cologne, to have you guys, you guys, and the team around, outstanding stuff. And then uh, let's make sure. You do your business with us. <laughs> Is there a small percentage of you that'll be a dad on the bench? Oh yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it, it's really, it's really weird sometimes. You know, like I, I, I never miss one Oilers game since he's he's in Edmonton, right? And but I hate to see the games live because I know you know you never know what happens. You know, so I I rather like you know. See you at the box score, see what everything is healthy, everything is good, and I take a look at the, at the, at the you know, at the app. It's like without the commercial stuff. So, uh, you know, I took, uh, you know, I go through the game and, and um, I rather do this. So it's always like a mix between, ah, oh, it's, uh, so what is he doing? But at the same time, you're still dead. You're still dead at, at the first sight. How it's much? During the season, I know you haven't missed a game since you started in junior. Not really. Prince yes, since Prince yeah, Albert. Yeah, him. yeah. How much um, do you get to communicate with them? How much coaching do you do? It's it's uh, it's gone yet. Yeah. It was it was uh, in PA like yeah. like you know because it was new for him and and I had a bit of experience so I, I was like trying to help him a little bit and he was asking more right. or, or looking for some help, you know, but then. It went less and less and less. By now, really, very, very rarely that that, that we we talk. Yeah, we talk about hockey every time. Like like what's going on with the Oilers, what's going on here, and stuff like that. But it's not like 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 I'm I'm teaching him. No, it's not. Was he was he here this morning? 
<laughs> Is that a secret, so really? So all the players were, you know, walking around, but I don't know. Yeah. Did you try to work out a trade? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I no, saw, no, no, I, no, no. I, he was, I saw yeah, him when the team was coming out. Did he talk to the team or meet with guys? Or? He's like, you know, if, if you take Hannibal Weitzman from our team and, and, and Tiffels brought us and said, this is, they, they know each other since they were like six, seven, eight years old. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They are just like brothers. Yeah. They, 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 they uh -huh. are close to, to each other. Uh -huh. So every time they, they have a chance to, uh, to, to, to meet each other, to, to, so... Yeah, yeah so they just they take advantage. No, out. just hanging yeah, yeah. out with the guys. Yeah, that's all. Sorry, I didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is this a bit of a full cycle for you? I mean, could you possibly imagine when, at the tail end of your career as a player, when you probably brought him on at the end of a practice or something, that one day you two would be part of an event like this? No, you never see some yeah. stuff like that. It, it's just, it was just, you know, the process with him. You know, he basically went away from home with 13, right. from Cologne to Mannheim already. He was gone. So. It was, you know, yeah. and then you know, PA and London, and it, it took off, and then, then, um, yeah, you you don't you don't really, you don't really think about uh, stuff like this happen. Would you bring him out with your teammates at the end of practice when he was five or six? Did he ever come on the ice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it. Ben I Thompson, guess right? it, I get. Ben, ben Thompson, Thompson was his favorite player when I was in Ravensburg. <laughs> uh, this, so that, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it was. It, it, to be honest, it was really, really uh, like a nice time with, because, you know, this, like eight, nine, ten, you know, looking eyes like this and looking around what's going on in the dressing room, listening to what, what, they, what, what, what the players are talking about. So I remember, uh, I, I really remember these times, uh, like it was, it was really fun. fun. Did, did you teach Leon to be such a good backhand passer? No. Were you that no. good? No, I had the same stick like him. I remember the same blade, but that was it. No, not really, no, no. But when when he was like when he was a kid, so we went out a couple of times and and just you know just shooting pucks, or, you know, throwing pucks around and stuff like that. Yeah. He's the best backhand passer in the center in the league in the yeah, NHL. Yeah. Teach him to player. use it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you always dream that he would be an NHL star, or is this where he is in his career now? Is that what you always had hope for him? It, it's not like dream it, but once you you. Once you figure it out that that it could happen possibly at one one point in his in his hockey life, then you give him all the support uh, you you possibly have, right? And and then, but to be honest, I think the, the the kids with the with the hockey background they they do have advantage basically because you can tell him what the dressing room is all about, what the sport, what what, what you know what, what what the hockey game means as a as a, as a big uh, as a whole. But uh, to be honest. Every player in the world, at the end of the, the at the end of the day, he, he he must do it by himself. You can tell him whatever you want, but if if it's like it doesn't happen, so it's entirely up to the players himself. I, wa I watched you, you that Albert Bill shot that you got it. You should have gone in. I had a bad stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> given, given how much time. With, a, with a better flex, with the sticks today, it, it would oh, be in. Win for, for sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't go upstairs. <laughs> with how much talent they have, McDavid and Leon, is, could coaching be the difference in the game? Is there pressure on you to maybe tactically something? Um, I might at least say a little bit, you know. So, But mm -hmm. what do you want to say about McDavid? <laughs> The NHL defenders can get the job done. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's 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 really a, 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 a nice challenge for us to play against against, especially in '97 on on the other side. So it's going to be. I I I don't know what happened. I, I'm looking forward. To it. <laughs>